Okay, as we all know, when we have 2 to the x is equal to pi, x is just equal to log base 2 of pi. And when we have 2 to the negative x is equal to pi, then x is equal to negative log base 2 of pi. Now, have you ever thought about, what if we have 2 to the x plus 2 to the negative x is equal to pi? We see we have an exponential equation, but it has two exponential parts. So what do we do? Well, as always, please pause the video and try this first. Done? Okay, here we go. As we can see, we cannot just take log right away because we can only have you know something to the x power and then take log to cancel the base. Here we have two exponential parts. Well, this is 2 to the negative x, which is the same as 1 over 2 to the x, right? So it's a fraction. So what we can do is just multiply everybody here by 2 to the plus the x. So that this times that will just be 1, so we don't have fractions anymore. So be careful though, when we do this times that, I'm going to write the as 2 to the x and then square, alright? And then this times that is just going to be 2 to the 0 again, it's just 1. I'm going to put it here, so I'm just going to say plus 1. And then that's equal to pi times 2 to the x. But let me move it to the left hand side, so I will look at this as negative pi times 2 to the x. And then that will give us 0 on the right hand side. The reason we want to do this is now we have an equation. It's actually quadratic, but in terms of 2 to the x. So you see, we have 2 to the x and a square, and then this is 2 to the x to the first, and it has a coefficient all that. So to proceed, we can just use the quadratic formula, and that says the inside, which is 2 to the x, it will be equal to negative b, which is the negative pi here, and then we are going to just do the plus or minus, and then square root, negative, well, b square, this is negative pi, so let me just put this down like this, negative pi square for the b square, minus 4ac, a is 1 and c is 1, so we have this times that, and then all over 2 times a, a is again 1. Alright, so that would be how the answer looks like. Almost, almost, not yet. But you see, now we have 2 to the x. It will be similar to the first equation. But anyway, let's see. We have 2 to the x, and that's equal to, that's just positive pi, and then plus or minus, square root, pi squared minus 4, okay? First, notice though, pi is about 3.14-ish. So when you square that, you are going to get about 9 point something, right? And it's positive. Minus 4, the inside is going to be positive. So we will actually get a real number here, and we will have the pi squared minus 4, all over 2 times 1, which is 2. But now here's the deal. When we have 2 to the x is equal to a number, we have to make sure that this number is positive. Otherwise, we actually will get complex solutions. So if, if it's just one real solution, we are just going to get rid of this. Because 2 to the x, this part has to be positive. So get rid of the negative. Otherwise, pi minus, you know, number bigger than pi, no go. So we have that. And finally, we can just do what we did here. We have 2 to the x is equal to this. This means we can just take log base 2 on both sides. x will be equal to log base 2. And then we'll just put everything inside. So this is pi plus square root of pi squared minus 4, and then all over 2. Oh, you want me to break it apart? Okay, fine. So we can do log of the top and then minus log of the bottom. So this right here, I'm just going to write it as log base 2, and then we have pi plus square root of pi squared minus 4, minus log base 2 of 2, which is just minus 1. And again, this one comes from the second part, log base 2 of the bottom, which is the 2. So, this is the real solution for that equation. Pretty cool, I will say. And before you guys go, I have a question for you guys. I did one for you guys. Now you do another one. The blue one, here. Earlier we saw that when we do 2 to the x plus 2 to the negative x is equal to pi, here we have a solution for it. Now, question for you guys is that, can you guys solve 2 to the x times 2 to the negative x, that's equal to pi? Go ahead and leave your answer down below in the comment section, right? And check out my other videos for other videos. Of course, check out my other video for other videos. Duh.
Anyway, go ahead and check it out.